Imagine this. Different homes, different lives, yet one shared living room that connects us all. Yes, we're talking about our public spaces. But how do those public spaces contribute to our city's health and well-being? Ideally, a public space is just around the corner, within a few minutes walk, waiting for you, for us. Okay, but what makes a space public? We at UN Habitat define public space as places that are accessible and enjoyable by all for free. They are the heartbeat of our cities. Like? Streets, sidewalks, bridges and stairs, and there's more. Public open spaces like parks, gardens, playgrounds, beaches, squares, and public facilities like libraries, cultural centers, markets, and sport venues. Okay, but then what makes them so important? Public spaces are more than just pretty places. They have many benefits. For example, parks and play areas are game changers for our health. These places are perfect for moving, grooving and staying active. Whether you're into jogging, skateboarding or just catching some fresh air, it all adds up to feeling great physically. And it's not just about keeping fit. These spots are also where we come together for festivals, for games, just to hang out and build friendships. But they can also be our escape from the city buzz, giving us a peaceful place to breathe and clear our minds. That's the real deal with public spaces. They're here to boost our body and mind big time. And there are more benefits. All right, let's get into how public spaces like parks, forests and gardens are secret heroes in the fight against climate change in urban heat islands. These green hotspots cool down cities while providing shade for us to avoid heat stress. Well-planned urban greenery can also reduce exposure to air pollution while capturing and storing carbon dioxide. These places are also hangouts for wildlife, providing homes to all sorts of animals and plants, boosting biodiversity right in our backyards. It's not just about the green, it's also about the blue. Waterfronts, lakes, fountains, rain gardens and water elements all provide a cool, fun place to hang out and relax. And they also contribute to the environmental health of our cities, making them cleaner and greener and more livable. Let's shift gears and talk about how public spaces are changing the way we move. When streets are designed with good sidewalks and bike lanes, they encourage us to walk more, keeping us fit and energized. This isn't just good for us, it helps the whole city by reducing car dependency, traffic and accidents, all while reducing air pollution. So, with well-designed streets, we're not just getting from A to B, we're shaping a greener, cooler and safer city life. Now let's zoom in. Public spaces can be the ultimate stages for talent and local biz. Street vendors, artists and performers can transform these spaces into vibrant, lively areas that are attractive, valuable and enjoyable for all, sparking jobs and giving our local economy a major boost. These engaging activities build a community vibe, making areas not just pass-throughs, but also places that we enjoy, creating an environment where we look out for each other. Together with good designs, those hangouts become safer. For example, adding proper lighting makes spaces more inviting, good maintenance can reduce vandalism, and universal design can ensure inclusivity. It means everyone, young and old, from all backgrounds, regardless of their abilities and origins, can access and enjoy their right to the city. We want to hear from you. How do you think public spaces need to be designed to improve our health our well-being, to contribute to environmental sustainability, to display local talent, improve transportation and our communities in general. We're excited to hear your ideas because public space is not just built, but designed with input from everyone. <laughs>